on YouTube I watched this this one video from uh, Malaysia Kinney and uh, it was all about these these chaps from Kuantan who were complaining about a villi a, uh, a a factory being built by an Australian company near Kuantan and you know Kuantan's got you know a couple of million or uh, you know a couple of nearly a million people that live within 30 k's of uh, Kuantan and uh, they want to build this factory you know within 30 k's of where a million people live and um, I watched this video on YouTube and I was just I understood what they were talking about they were speaking Malay and I understood what they were complaining about and they were complaining about you know a company from the country I'm from um, building this factory without any consultation with the people without discussing it with them without offering them anything in return and um, I felt like I wanted to talk about it in a video and I made my own video and it got a bit of attention which was a bit of a surprise So we're about to meet some people, who are they? Well, we're about to meet Aslan Adnan Aslan What do you do? Tell us what you Hi How are you doing? Spasiba Spasiba Shiki liki dikia Najib who's the crime minister now Call him the crime minister. Yeah, he used to be married to a uh, Kantanese princess. Oh yeah. Okay. And then when she he was seduced by this Rosma, uh -huh, uh -huh. whom I call Musna Hancho, rather uh -huh, than uh -huh. Mus, uh, what do you call it? Rather than Rosma Manso. Right, right. Twisted a bit and called Musna Hancho. You know, like ninety-seven percent of all the bread huts are come from China, and uh -huh. they want to bring uh -huh. the monopoly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And because China's recently announced export controls, right? Yeah. So China has said, you know, look, from now on. Ostensibly, it's because to comply with environmental law, uh -huh. but, but the real reason is because they, they want to have a monopoly. Because China has no intention, mm -hmm. for strategic military reasons mm -hmm. as well, of selling the bread huts, mm -hmm. because it's like you've got the the, the golden eggs. Why should you sell those when you can make in the product, add more value and sell the iPhones to, mm -hmm. to, to Apple who will sell it to the world, you know? Mm -hmm. Sell the finished product, you know, so they're moving down the value chain right to the end. You know, not the commodity item, they want to sell the, the, mm -hmm. you know, the end product. Mm -hmm. and, and from an economic point of view, it makes very good business sense. Which part, of, which part of it makes very good business sense? Don't sell the rare earth. Because rare earth is just a bunch of powder. Uh -huh. So they sell... Add value to it first. Yeah, they, they sell it as iPhones. You know, all the iPhones are made in China, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so if to make the iPhone you need rare earth, and you can only have the rare earth from China, and since the export controls, you have to have your iPhone factory in China. Yeah. You know? And of course, it's not an Apple factory, but it's a Chinese manufacturer. Yeah. Mm. Prime Minister's wife, you know, she's known as Mrs. 10%. Mm. That one could be like this, so... Came here to make a documentary film about uh, certain political issues that are important to some people, not important to others. Not and really important to Australians, right? Yeah, I guess first step is trying to figure out just how important these issues are. Is it even worth making a film about it? And then we've got to find people that are opposite sides of the argument. You know, like people that are pro and people that are against the certain issue. We've got, to, we've got to discover how big the issue is in Malaysia, right? That's right. How many people actually care? And then Maybe dudes don't even care. That's right. And then we're going to travel to the other side of the country where this rare earth refinery is going to be built or is 60% built and uh, just see what the contrast is between the opinions here and the opinions over there and trying to sort of trying to explore the politics behind the issue you know and that's what we came here to do and that's what we're going to do good luck for everything lah for your journey and everything yeah, we hope to see this on film, no? Yeah. So, money you don't have about the issue liners? Okay, the issue liners, I think of the internet. Ah, the internet, huh? Facebook, what? Ah, ah, ah. And? Apa tu pendapat pasal isu tu? Isu tu saya tengok liners tu dia 
dia nampak keburukan lah uh. Keburukan dari segi uh. Macam environment dia tercemar lah Macam uh. flora dan fauna terjejas uh, 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 uh. Nampak macam uh, Flora tu, elok-elok, pokok cantik Nampak hmm. macam Rugo hmm. So Haiwan-haiwan semua pupus hmm. ha, Itu efek dia lah daripada uh, situ uh, Daripada lioness uh, lah uh, So, uh, mat- mata efek tu buat daripada sisa buah uh, uh, toksik uh, Sungai tercemar uh, uh, ha. uh, Tak bagus kan? Ha, nampak uh, sangat macam tak bagus uh, Jadi, patut uh, apa patut eh, itu kerajaan buat? Uh, saya patut kerajaan jangan buat lioness uh, lah uh, Malaysia ni uh, Dia tak patut lah sebab uh, Merosakkan Flora, fauna ha. punya bumi ni ha. kita tu perlu saya. Ha. Ha. Um, itulah saya tahu pasal lain ha. tu. Oh, okay. okay, terima kasih okay. ya. Okay, terima kasih semua dia. Okay, so saya okay. boleh add nanti saya lagi ya. Okay. okay, terima kasih banyak banyak ya. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you, you. thank you. Yeah. I sort of didn't think that the lioness issue played much here in KL. I didn't sort of think that uh, people knew about it, but the kid just now uh, knew about it from the internet. He read about it on Facebook, and uh, he had seen my video. And that's actually the first time that we've walked past uh, just random Malaysians and they've actually recognized me from the video I made. So that's that's quite a surreal experience, really. Where are we, where are we going? We are on the road to Kwanzaa. Planet. Reckon. Mm, back in the drain he goes. <laughs> Determined to get back to the drain. Because uh, Linus has not actually talked about um, about it much. Linus have always emphasized that this uh, refinery is f- for green technology. That it produces rare earth, and rare earth is very useful for for green technology in uh, making products like iPhone, laptops, and so on. That's their messaging all this while. They have not actually focused on um, addressing the concerns of the public. Mm-hmm. So, so who benefits from the land from the event? The shareholders in, in, in Linus. Uh-huh. Australians. Australians. Uh-huh. Malaysia, uh, uh, they enjoy t- a 12 years tax-free holiday uh-huh. Uh-huh. with a strategic pioneer status. Uh-huh. It only offers 350 jobs uh-huh. and it's uh, 100% Australian owned. Uh-huh. So, uh-huh. of course, I would say it's the shareholders of, of, of Linus. Does anyone in Malaysia benefit? Not directly, not that I see directly. Uh, maybe um, upstream or downstream, but then again, it does not. It does uh, the the risk versus the benefits. It, it does not our way. Certainly, you would say the rakyat biasa that one thing. I would say the rakyat biasa uh, mendapat kehormatan. They will get the the honor uh-huh. of uh, accepting the, uh-huh. the waste uh-huh. or the radioactive waste. We become a dumping ground, okay. actually. Uh-huh. So, so that brings me to the next question: Who loses from having a land being given? Who loses the content people? Uh-huh. We are the number one. Uh, we are the people that will lose most uh-huh. by having uh, by having land in given. Even even. Just from the reputation that that Kuantan will get from the, the reputation, the perception. For example, look at Kuantan. Kuantan is such a beautiful place, uh-huh. and uh, it is a tourist destination. Club Med is just next door mm-hmm. to Lam. Can you imagine the perception that it will create? Who would want to come to a radioactive holiday? Who want to go to Club Med and have a radioactive holiday? We have beautiful beaches, and all of that will be contaminated with the with the waste. Mm-hmm. And so many penduduk Pahang make their living the the from 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 the tourism industry. Correct, correct. Yeah. The tourism in, uh, we have seafood industry yeah. which directly benefits from the tourism industry. Yeah. We have budget hotels yeah. and um, we have ikan bakar. You know, we have the seafood industry. All those will will be the first to 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 feel the brunt of 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 the this this perception. But then having said that, we also we are also one of the biggest fishing port in Malaysia. Uh, we we harbor 390 deep sea trawlers in Kuantan. So can you imagine if the waves uh, contaminate the the sea and then the fish? Not only it will not only will it affect the fishing industry in Kuantan, mm-hmm. it will also affect the fishing industry in Southeast Asia mm-hmm. because it will go as far as uh, destroying the fishing industry in Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand. A reputation is easy to destroy, isn't it? I mean, I mean you know. 
<laughs> that will be the first. That will be the first to suffer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The and economy. Once reputation goes, that's, that's an industry obliterated, right? Quantum will be a dead town, uh -huh. and I don't want to see that happening okay. in Bukit Merah. And they they inform us. It's the Asian red. Asian red. Asian Asian red. Asian Japan Bukit Merah. Apa jadi kat We we are having difficulties to handle the waste. They are still handling the waste currently. Okay, and uh, there are uh, they 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 say that. The impact they have uh, about eight people suffering from leukemia, seven died due to that. But the government still say that it is not due to the Asia Red Earth. So, kalau tujuh orang sudah meninggal dunia, mana tahu berapa sudah sakit? Yes, um, exactly. Mungkin berapa ratus sudah sakit dari yep. radiasi dah. Yeah, betul. That's right. Only in early 2011, early this year, when Fukushima happened and the things start coming back people start talking hey uh, in fukushima they also said safe previously but now what happened so what will happen to us if linus is having the same things so now people start talking about it and then a, uh, a few more ngos coming in okay yeah that is the 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 key thing here is that if the government feel threatened politically, they will take action. That's why they set up the IEA panel of advisors after we move up. Okay, but in, in this uh, Linus case, okay, the raw material belongs to Australia, right? They take the raw material all the way from Australia to Kuantan, process the things, get all the good things, export it back to the foreign countries, but they leave the residue, the waste here. The radioactive. The radio that contain radioactive material here. Okay. So where is the gain of Malaysia? That's the question. Tapi kalau you bawa barang dari Australia, if you take all the way from outside, then process here, leave your all your waste here, and then all the good things you take back. So where is the logic? Tak adil. Tak adil. Tak logic. Okay. We have to handle waste. That's second thing. And another one is that uh, when we we know that Linus has no experience dealing with the rare earth plant processing, even they just start mining the rare earth in Australia. They just based on paper, everything is okay, everything is safe. But what happened to Malaysia with the current situation, we know we are living in this area. We know we are facing with a lot of pollution, which the government agency in terms of enforcement are still lacks, lacking because you can see they will discharge to the river the air pollution the airborne the dust is there noise is there uh, and then the, the the water pollution and so on that's why uh, Baluk river Sunil Baluk, is be, being polluted level two and three which is level cannot be used cannot be consumed so that is a normal petrochemical oil and gas waste. Now we are talking about waste that containing radioactive material. The leachate of the the, the waste disposal will go to the Sungabalo. Regardless how much the level of radioactive, it is still radioactive. And it will build up over the time. Yes. The volume we are talking about. Or find other place to do that. Okay. So, who is here in this country? Linus. But, why do the Kerajaan Malaysia call them to come? There are many people in this country. There are many people in Malaysia who are here. If there is no one, why do they come to come? I don't see people in Malaysia who are here in this country. I don't see that. And people don't see that anybody in Malaysia. Except about 350 people who who got the job there okay or plus a few businessmen who can secure some sort of supplying things that's all not to the government uh, as, as one uh, entity to get from it uh, uh, certainly no certainly no yep. 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 and yet yeah, Linus is 100% owned by Linus Corporation not joint venture not, not even have any any partner in Malaysia so they can bring back all the money back to Australia right? they can bring back all the money so uh, if we talk about technical maybe we are 
we are not really uh, technical uh, savvy in terms of how rare earth process, what are the impact and so on. We are talking about the the, the impact after that. Okay? They can claim that this is a very secure plan, we make sure everything is okay, we will ensure no uh, what a violation of the regulation and so on. They can say anything they want to say. But based on our experience, it does not happen that way. It only happens because you want to get the permit and approval. Okay? Once things happen, they will just keep quiet. They, they just keep quiet. There are many technical hiccup will happen. They will also have uh, problems. They will leaking, they will uh, break down and so on. They will discharge the water, they will, they will discharge the waste. Macam dia suka, ikut suka dia Suka hati dia saja. And then the government will not know The agency will not know about it Okay So that's that's uh, based on that experience We are against this liners We are against this liners We are not saying that we are against the liners Because of the rare earth The rare earth is very valuable things Yes we know But we don't want that to be uh, processed here Processed in Australia Okay, process in Australia. So, if government say it, it is a strategic investment for the country, we don't feel that way because uh, the material belongs to Australia. They can pull back anytime. So, where is the strategic we have? We can only say it is strategic if we are in control. We can have any any power or any say about it, then we can say, okay, it is strategic for us. But how can the government say it is a strategic investment, whereas they cannot control all the materials belong to Australian, belong to Linus. They can stop anytime they want. Uh, Linus is controlling the, the agencies now, the other way. They are dictating what they want to do and agencies will follow them. Terbalik. Terbalik. That's why they can do whatever they want to do. Uh, that's what happened. Okay. And uh, when the people, when we talk about uh, people protesting, people against this project, uh, the, the, we we think that there is no, I would say there is no way that we can we can stop unless two things we change the government or secondly we go for the, to the court to the legal. So then the orang kat sini sudah sudah convinced here. Some yes, some no. I would say, but majority of peoples in in around this coastal area, around this area, they are aware, they know and they are actually uh, looking at changing the government. Nikati said we can store there forever. Selama lama. So so that's who's uh, what, what who are going to handle this waste after Linus go. Anak cucu lah. Uh, of course lah my my generation. Of course my generation. So if I don't want to be blamed by my next generation, that's why I said I do my part. Uh, we, all the people here, do our part saying, okay, please go. Okay, we don't want to handle the waste here in order to safeguard our future generation. If they really from the beginning inform people by doing detailed EIA, people will protest from the beginning, they can make corrective action. They will follow. They boleh binjang. Orang, bila orang kata, okay, kita tak nak macam ni, kita nak supaya you buat macam ni, macam ni, and then you agree with that. People will say, okay, you are following. Yeah, yeah, that's the key. No, when we people protesting, saying that we don't, we, we are against this because of this one and this one, they just keep quiet and the they, they are blaming the people. They said people do not know. People are actually being manipulated by they certain group. Tak ada begitu tahu, right? Of course they tahu. And then uh, uh, people are not so so stupid being manipulated by certain group. They can think about it. So that's why NGOs sometimes are being setting up non-political influence, but they are searching the information. They call their experts as their resource. They also have certain group of people who are also experts in certain field, public health, also nuclear and radioactive. They have uh, in eco environmentalists, uh, uh, ecologists, people, all this group of people who against Linus. Okay, so why that's the government say being people being manipulated, but the, all the NGOs are also supporting the movement, 
right? So, the, where is the rationals of government blaming people to protest or liners blaming people to protest? Blaming the pembangkang. Blaming the pembangkang. We have about 11 NGOs behind us, supporting us. Uh, so, uh, I think the people here are making a very clear and concise decision in protesting uh, liners. They are not being manipulated, they are not based on personal sentiment or political. They are purely based on their health the future, and, uh, and the future. That's it. Uh, uh, the Menteri Besar clearly said in the press that he don't want to entertain any anti-liners. Pinchang pun tak boleh. Tak mau. Because they said we are arrogant. We cannot uh, discuss with them. And then when we try to meet him, he don't want to meet us. He didn't want to meet. Siapa he didn't show up. Siapa sebenarnya sombong? Yeah, siapa sebenarnya yang sombong? Yeah, arrogant. This one. Huh? Because we want to to tell them our, why our concern. This is our concern. Okay. And then we want you to to look at it, listen to it, and then do something. At least there is a two-way communication. Okay. But what happened is that it is only one-way communication. They are utilizing the the press. They are utilizing the media, TV, and so on, and blaming us, anti liners Okay. Uh, whereas we have no platform to address our point of view. Uh, the, of course, the Malay medium newspaper will not publish our point. What about the internet? Have you? Have yes, we are utilizing internet now. Uh, we are using utilizing blogs, Facebook, and uh, YouTube, and so on to do that. We ask questions, they fail to answer, even they are try to, uh, let's say, uh, belittle the people. You do not know. I am the expert of nuclear, I am the expert of radioactive, I am the expert of toxic. All the experts there. Okay? And all you said are wrong and so on. But you have to respect people's knowledge as well. Okay? So you, as if that you do respect the people. This, this younger generation, they need to be heard and respected because they also can get information they can think okay uh, but the older generation maybe you can still uh, buy them with that but not the younger generation yes macam you daripada Australia you boleh datang sini also the same things people dekat sini dia ada internet search they ada kawan contact dekat dekat overseas dia ada kawan contact dekat kilang and so on they got a lot of information dia boleh dengar dia boleh dengar dia boleh dengar ada Wikipedia ah ada Wikipedia even people are working that uh, in that environment industrial they know about it uh, okay macam nilah daripada satu sudut bahawa itu Linus Petis dah berjaya tarik perhatian sekumpulan um, korporat Malaysia untuk sini dengan tanpa memberi penjelasan yang awal tentang masalah ni tapi bila sudah masuk sudah semua sudah jalan apa sudah negosi semua tak boleh nak tarik balik dan nampak satu besar jadi dia orang sini cuba jalankan juga ini jadi yang untung tu terima kasihlah pada Australia kerana dapat beli Malaysia dengan jiwa je manusia sini sekali. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Sekarang ini saya rasa rakyat rakyat Australia tak berapa faham berapa penting isu ini. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, sebab mereka tak faham faham kerajaan hmm. Hmm. Mereka rasa kalau kerajaan Malaysia menerima itu kilang uh, apa hal? Mm, mm. Uh, tapi mereka tak faham mm, macam uh, mana kerajaan sini terima rasuah ya korupsi akan suapan eh saya nak tahu you datang sini atas stand apa? apa tu? you datang sini untuk apa? untuk untuk buat dokumentari untuk Dokumentary. buat film YouTube pasal isu ini. Nah, saya nak rakyat Australia uh, rakyat Australia faham kenapa rakyat Malaysia tak pernah tua hati dengan isu ini. Lagi-lagi saya nak saya rasa sudah eh, orang Kuantan, orang Gebeng dia orang sudah faham, dia orang sudah tolak. Nah, tapi sekarang eh, Malaysia lain nah, mesti faham. Nah, Australia juga mesti faham. Eh, pelanggan Linus dekat Europe China uh, Japan 
um, mereka mereka juga uh, mesti faham uh, uh, jadi, saya, uh, jadi saya datang sini untuk buat apa yang saya nak semua faham <laughs> Tadi YB pun ya, cerita pasal It is typical, typical people, I think, human being You only realize the importance or the, the hazards or the dangers of some things when things happen Same goes to Fukushima You only know that it is not safe when things happen But it is too late Okay, it is too late If we know from the beginning the risk is higher than the benefit Why should we take the risk? Okay. Why even go down that path? Oh, yeah, yeah, why we go down to that path? So if if let's say now, the risk of having liners is higher than the benefit now. Why should we move ahead with go ahead with this liners here? Uh, or are we going to wait until something happen then only we take action and stop liners? So it is going to be people. That's why I said it from the beginning. People who said it is safe today will keep quiet if something happen. They will just wash their hand. And we are the people. Tidak ada buat bodoh lah. Of course. We are the people who are going to face it. Okay. And you be left holding the baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ada ke orang Bukit Bintang, uh, Bukit Merah. Merah. Bukit Merah. Uh. Uh, datang ke sini untuk ada. macam. Ada. Uh, apa mereka kata? Dia kata, they, they tell us the same yeah, scenario what uh. is happening now uh. and before. When they complain something, first they do not know. They just work with that. Uh, mining uh, air, uh, Asia Earth, something happened, they feel not good, they make noise. And then the government say, hey, no, it is okay, it is safe. When they have some sort of uh, 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 diseases, uh, they, they suck it, they complain, they say, oh, it is not because because of the rare earth plant, it is because of you personal living, personal life, and so on. And they still saying it is safe until the end. And what happened is that, People have to struggle to fight for their rights in the court of law, which is not supposed to be, right? Suppose the government have to protect the health and safety of the people. If people say it is not safe, you have to do something. Tanggung jawab kerajaan. Memelihara, right? It is not asking people to fight for their right in the court of law. So that's what so happened. Tetap hak mereka, kan? Yes, that's that's what happened in Bukit Merah. They have to fight more than 10 years in the court until the Asia is shut down. Sampai hari ini mereka dapat Sampai hari ini dapat ganti rugi antara. Dia tak ada dapat ganti rugi. Government still say that it is not because of Asia. Uh, then people now saying that hey, which one is is you are protecting the investor, the business of the your people. And the same thing will happen to Gebeng. If something goes wrong with Linus, we have to suffer on our own. The agencies, the experts, the government say it is still safe. It is not because of Linus, it is because of something else. So uh, we don't want that to happen. So that's why Bukit Merah people, they came here, they tell us the story from the beginning, and then they, until the end. And until today, they have about 80,000 uh, drums of the waste they have to handle the Mitsubishi chemical need to handle after uh, 10 years the plant closed they still do not know what to do with that okay uh, if they said the the material is different from liners okay fine but the consequences will be the same right if you cannot handle Asia Red Earth waste today you also will not be able to handle Linus waste tomorrow. Okay, and we are the people here to, to handle this. The government back then is the same government now. Yeah. Uh, cara tangani uh, ketika itu sama. Uh, sama. 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 Uh. Dia pun panggil IAEA say all safe. Uh. People have to rely to the the, the expert. They have to hire to pay the, the external expert. Yang radioactive waste. Um, Apa ni? Linus ni historian. Yes. Historian punya half life is 14, 14 billion years. Yes. Yes. Uh, the age of the universe pun tak sampai. Tak sampai. Yeah, yeah. That means masa 
apa universe ni di di create kan hmm. kalau ada satu kilo thorium, thorium sekarang ada still active sekarang ada half kilo lagi ha ya ya okey and then yang half yang breakdown breakdown jadi radium, radium. dan radon radon, radon yes. is a gas radioactive yeah. gas yes. so tak boleh tak boleh kontrol yeah. tak boleh kontrol kita jadi hujan so hujan, so hujan that, that's nafas masuk badan hujan si tak bila kita masuk bila kita masuk dalam badan kita dia akan merosakkan Rosak. badan kita dari yeah. dalam ya yeah. that is internal radiation Jika so, the the expert said it is internal radiation, same goes. And, and it's a silent killer. Silent killer. It's, you know, it won't be until you're on your deathbed, and then right. and then silent time will. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And then by that time, the Curtis already cabut lari. Kaya Minus. already. Sudah kaya, make a lot of money, and then do who cares? I can pay whatever they want. 